Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Oscar Mikey, and today we're taking a look at Road to Vostok. If you haven't heard of Road to Vostok before, this is a single player extraction shooter. This game is basically trying to be a single player competitor or alternative to Escape from Tarkov. I'm not going to go over the whole mission statement and the plan for this game in this video. The developer does that really well in his own videos. I'm going to leave them linked in the description below. The basic idea is that the playable maps in the game are all interconnected and you move between each one of them. You can spawn into a map, go in, do your objectives, get your loot and all that stuff, and then move to a particular extraction point based on the next map you want to enter. And if you get into combat in Road to Vostok and you die, then you lose all your gear. Very, very similar to Escape from Tarkov, we have that hardcore FPS uh, extraction based kind of looter shooter philosophy going on here. Again, for those of you who are new and you haven't heard of this game before, I'm going to leave a link to the developer's YouTube channel in, in the description of this video. And I really highly recommend you go over there and you watch his videos because he lays out his plan in full detail and he does a great job of explaining his vision for this game. It's been a minute since we looked at this game. The public demo first released uh, last fall and I did a couple of videos on it. Links to those in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, but just this past weekend, the developer updated that demo to version two. And I wanted to jump in and get some gameplay, show you guys the new features, the new uh, like assets and new stuff in the playable area and things like that. And just kind of talk through the differences, the improvements and all that kind of thing. Also, I'm doing this video in kind of a little bit of a different style than I typically do. I'm writing down some like bullet points for me to go over. Uh, with a voiceover while I play some gameplay in the background, some relevant gameplay in the background. So feel free to let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video, and I'll try and do more of them. Anyways, yeah, the developer of Road to Vostok has updated the demo to version 2, and it brings a bunch of new weapons, uh, some new features, some new like weather controls, and updated maps. So the training area that you start in is improved, it's larger and there's more in it. And same with the actual demo map. The village is a lot bigger now, there's a lot more forest to wander around in, and there's a lot more points of interest too. Anyways, let's start off with the training area. In the middle, there's all the different stations explaining the games like controls, uh, item management, containers, weapons, attachments, all that stuff. There's boards all over the place exp explaining these game mechanics. And like there's some containers in game with ladders that you can experiment with, like a mini obstacle course kind of. You can climb up ladders and there's an observation post that you can go up in. And there's an outer area now where you can just run around and explore in a, in a tiny forest. So there's a couple of cool weapon related uh, controls we have access to in this new demo. When you inspect your weapon, when you bring it up with the X key, you can actually turn it over and inspect both sides of it if you want. You can point fire now, which means you can basically have your weapon at like kind of a low ready state. I don't know if that's the proper terminology, maybe somebody in the comments will correct me. But you can basically point the weapon in front of you, ready to fire, and kind of brace it against your chest without like fully aiming down sight. Pretty sweet, good for keeping your field of vision nice and clear. Something else you can do is you can actually move your sight forward and backward on your rail. That's really cool. Just press X to inspect your weapon, hold control, and scroll your mouse wheel. You can also adjust the brightness of your reticle in your optic. Just ADS with your gun and if your optic supports it, you can hold alt and use your scroll wheel to change the brightness. A new addition to the V2 demo is water. So there are actually puddles of water around. There's one big puddle in the training area that you can go into. There's no swimming animation yet. So you literally just walk into it and you walk across the bottom. <laughs> There are more weapons and attachments now than in the V1 demo. There's like an AK-74U, a 1911, an SVD, an AS Val, and a few other ones. Based on feedback from the first demo, the developer kind of reworked the weapon recoil and handling and just overall how the weapons feel and behave. And I think he did a pretty good job. It's much improved. Weapons feel and sound a lot more impactful. And it's a great next step. I think there's more tweaking to be done. I think it could be improved a little more, but it's in a much better place now.
There's also the addition of clothing and like tactical rigs. I don't think they do anything at the moment, but they're in there at least. <laughs> and you can equip them to your character. The attachment system for the weapons is really cool. To attach like a sight or a suppressor to your gun, you just hold it up, you go into the inspection mode by pressing X, and you hit one of the num keys, whether it's one, two, three, four, they all correspond to like the muzzle, the top rail for a sight, or the mag, or whatever. And once you have an attachment on your gun, you can remove it by holding shift and then pressing the num key that corresponds to the attachment that you want to get rid of. The same controls that we found in the V1 demo are back here again. Just hit escape and you'll have a bunch of different options to play around with and experiment with like different weather, obviously graphics settings, field of view, all that type of stuff. It's organized into four categories, gameplay, rendering, lighting and effects, and post-processing. Gameplay has the AI spawner, HUD visibility, camera noise and smoothing effects, left and right weapon position, which is really cool. You can swap lefty or righty and your inverted mouse toggle. The rendering tab is all about performance, and it includes things like overall quality settings, a render distance toggle, texture resolution, dual rendering scopes toggle if you want to change that, that'll save you a little bit on performance, a v-sync toggle, and an FPS counter if you need that. Lighting and effects basically controls in-game weather. You can toggle summer or winter now, winter is brand new with this v2 demo, and you could still do the things that you could in the previous uh, v1 demo. You can change the time of day, the weather type, whether that's clear, rain, or storm. You can toggle water reflections, ambient occlusion, and uh, the number of decals on the map. And the last column, post-processing, lets you control visual effects, like just the overall image of the game. That's things like exposure or brightness, contrast, saturation, color temperature, bloom, and vignette. And then on the bottom, you have a bunch of sliders that control things like your field of view, weapon to camera offset, mouse sensitivities, and volumes. Now, in the playable area, a lot of it is the same as the V1 demo, but there are a bunch of improvements and additions. The biggest changes are the addition of water in the form of a massive lake with a dock, that's pretty cool, and a large swamp-like area with dead trees and like crevices and like big puddles and rocks and stuff. It's pretty open and clear. And there's also a giant bunker at the back of the uh, the radio tower. And yeah, there's a huge door with a van parked outside. I found it and I was hoping I would be able to go inside, but no, you can't interact with a door. You can't go inside yet. Maybe in another demo. There are some new assets like a watchtower, the dock that I mentioned earlier on the lake, and small buildings like outhouses and shacks, small wooden benches, electrical boxes, and things like that. Any containers like garbage bags and mailboxes and crates, cabinets in the houses and the kitchens and stuff, those can all be looted still. And you'll find random like loose loot laying around all over the place. Those like red, blue, green containers, they're just all over the place. I think my favorite thing with this V2 demo has to be the addition of winter. I love the aesthetic it brings. I love uh, winter combat. It's just, just something about it. It's really cool. I love the crunch of the snow under my feet. The sound effects are all there. It's just really cool. I kind of like it. My biggest complaint or gripe with it actually carries over from the V1 demo. You can tell it's still very basic, but enemy AI is still really bad and pretty annoying. They can spot you from a mile away through the trees, and sometimes you can't even tell where they are, even when they're shooting at you. Like, you'll be staring right at them. You know the sounds are coming from right in front of you, but you can't. There's no, like, easy way to see them. They kind of blend in with the trees, and the muzzle flashes are not very uh, bright and don't actually give them away that much, so it, it can be a challenge to locate them sometimes. But when you do get in a firefight, it's pretty satisfying and actually kind of heart pounding. You can hear the bullets whizzing past your head. And when you fire your weapons, they all sound really good and satisfying. And overall, you know what? It all feels better than the V1 demo, so I can't complain. Again, it could use a little bit more refinement, but it's definitely headed in the right direction. And unfortunately, there's still no reload animations for any of the guns, but you know that's going to be coming down the line. Final thing before we close out this video, there is a roadmap included in the game. Public Demo 1 was released in fall last year, and we're kind of in between that and Public Demo number 2 right now. Public Demo number 2 is going to be releasing in fall this year, and then afterwards, Early Access and Full Release are TBA. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Really promising. I'm really liking this game. I think it's doing a lot of things right, and I'm really excited for the final release. I can't wait to play this game when it's finally all finished. 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you did like the video, make sure you leave a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting me discovered and stuff on YouTube. Maybe consider subscribing if you're new and you want to see more content like this in the future. Thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next video.